Okay, well the first thing I can point out about this Golf is that the instrument cluster for the Speedo and the rev counter is obstructed by the steering wheel. Therefore I cannot read it. It's a no-brainer. The dashboard's quite uh, attractive, it looks quite stylish. In some ways I think it's probably better looking than the newer ones. Everything's again very simplistic, nothing complicated about it. The rear view vision is very good, you get a nice big chunky window there, great big mirrors, you can see everything, even on the right and left hand side, the vision is very very good. Now one thing I will say about this, it's a 5 speed manual, the shock absorbers on this car are dreadful. There is so much movement in the car when you turn, it's ridiculous. For a small car, it should not have such a, um, a floating effect. The mileage on this vehicle is only 75,000, which is not a lot for a vehicle of this age. The interior of this car is very attractive. It's, it's very stylish. It's, um, it's something which I think a lot of modern golfs have lost. It actually looks quite flash. There's plenty of headroom in this car. I mean, I'm six foot four, and there's got to be at least seven or eight inches above my head, which is absolutely amazing when I think about it. Plenty of room in the car for other people. This vehicle has been very well designed because, at the end of the day, it's a small wheelbase vehicle. It's got heaps of room inside, and it, it looks good, and it's a sturdy little driving machine. Uh, the only thing I will say is the engine is, I think it's undersized and the shock absorbers are way too soft. The brakes, well, you know, you can tell it's been a few years since this car was made because the brakes, okay, they stop you, but they're by no means uh, highly effective. So, there's a couple of criticisms about this car. Just to recap, the, the instrument panel here is blocked by the steering wheel. Why? The uh, brakes aren't fantastic, but I suppose there are ways to update that a little bit. The um, shock absorber is very soft, but the car is very well built. It's very stylish, and it serves the purpose that it was created for at the end of the day, which is just a general round around a domestic vehicle for shopping dipping around town, dropping the kids off, etc. It's very good. It's good German build quality and um, when I compare it to maybe a Vauxhall or something, the VW certainly comes out on top. They're good little cars, the Golfs. If you don't mind the front wheel drive and you want a solid, reliable little run around, then this is a good buy. Check them out.